Yeah, go on, Stig. Go on, mate. Yes, but Listen to me, listen to me, right. Right. Right, what? Right. How many, how many world title fights has Joshua won? Yeah, but, but, but he, what is it, Anthony? Don't matter, does it? It does matter because you're just a No, what, what, no, we're talking in fact, we deal in facts here at Porky's Corner. Yeah, Yeah, but if we're going to go on about, oh, coulda, woulda, shoulda, uh, HBO had Frotch beating Kessler, didn't they, by two rounds, but he didn't get a decision in Denmark. We can all go on about if, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Ty the moral of the story, Stig, is Tyson's got one world title win and one draw. Yeah, but you're not even looking, because you're completely wrong. We've all agreed he beat the Yeah, but he didn't get the decision, Stig, did he? Alright then, let's look at it like he did beat him. So he's 2-0, oh, he's 2-0 oh then in title fights, yeah? Yes. Right then, he's 2-0. Oh. So let's look at it, let's look at Joshua then. He is 7-1. Is it 7-1, is it? Something like that, you know, 8-1. Seven and no, he's 8-1, and he? He's 8-1, Joshua's 8-1. Right, so he's 8-1, better than 2-0. Yeah, but you're telling me that any of those people that, that uh, 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 um, seven. Anthony Beach. Seven and one, yeah. Seven and one. Come on, get real, man. He's had nine pay per views, hasn't he, Joshua? Boy, boy. Yeah, yeah, but when you're on the net, you're on the net. So it's eight, eight yeah, seven and eight. one, yeah. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, you're back in the air, and you've got nothing but great people most of those fights. I'm not doubting that I don't think Tyson. Would beat Joshua. Yeah, we we, we we've got Tyson beating Joshua on Josh, points. Joshua's got the better record of wins. Yeah, he has got you a can't, better you, can't, you cannot deny What's that. What's Tyson's oh. best best four wins, Stig? Tell me his top four wins. <laughs> Tyson's 
Jackson's best win is Vladimir, isn't it? Anthony Joshua's best win. Uh, Vladimir. Vladimir. Yeah, exactly. Who's Tyson's second best win? Chisora. Yeah, but Chisora, that's his ninth defeat. He had nine defeats, mate. <laughs> He went the distance with him, is that how we're going to base it to? Kevin Johnson went the distance with Tyson. <laughs> Pianetta went the distance with Tyson, the Italian sausage, Pianetta. Yeah, but when Tyson doesn't knock anybody out, Steve, you come out with things like, oh, he wanted to get the rounds in. Who's got, who's got the best record in in all heavyweight boxers of all time, Stig? Who's got the most defences? Uh, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis. Do you think that record will stand? You what, Stig? I've just had a very important fact that I need to return. All right then, well, Stig, it's been great having you on the channel. You're 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 still a, you're still good company, and it's good banter, Stig, and he can take it. So yeah, well, I completely respect your uh, passion. We respect and your you. You're passionate, Stig, and you you're always uh, you're always there or thereabouts. You're always on the scene, aren't you, mate? Good luck, mate. All the best. All the best, guys. Love you. Know, right, right. That was uh, Stig from F F Stig Power, Philip Sims from uh, Stig Power, formerly Fury Power. Fury Power! Fury Power! Fury Power! But what we forgot to mention is, in all this excitement, uh, Peter Fury's uh, sent me a text there, I'll just show you it. Uh, well, it's probably probably also worth mentioning the fact that Tyson's boxed on boxed seven seven different TV, TV channels. channels. Yeah. Uh, no, no one can that old can they? Peter Fury, Yui would take that in a heartbeat, and uh, one hundred percent. So you, Peter Fury is. Uh, we we have told Stiggy to put it on Twitter, wasn't he? Because yeah. <laughs> he gets excited, doesn't he? Peter Fury says that Yui. We'll take the Wilder fight, 100%. Uh, so, Mick Hennessy, if you're watching, Mick, uh, get, your son, get your full English finished, pay your bill in the cafe, get in your car, go home and phone the WBC and get Yui. A ranking. A ranking or lobby for Yui with the WBC. Mick's got a bit of pull with the WBC. And get... Uh, have a word with your mate, Don Majeski, who's uh, who will no doubt have a word with WBC and get you a ranking and game the Wilder fight because I think after Wilder beats Ortiz, he's going to need a fight and I don't think it'll be Tyson. I, I, I believe that now that's doing rounds that Tyson's not going to fight Wilder, Dale, do you? I don't think he, he wants any anything to do with it, to be honest. I think that last round, you, you could just Somebody tell. Somebody whacking that hard. I mean, at the, end of, at the end of the day, at the end of the fight, his reaction said it all. He, he can kick and scream all he wants about the decision, but you know there was not really much reaction. He was just happy to get through the 12 rounds, I thought. you know, And he was just lo loving the fact that he was back in the limelight more than he was about the actual result of the fight. That's... 
but it was, I will kind of see. What do you think? Yeah. I think they took that fight for money, and they, they just and Frank Warren thought, do you know what? After watching Pianetta fight, he's not got it no more. That's what I thought, Dale. Just trying to look at the uh, the everywhere rankings now to see if Huey's got a ranking with any of the governing bodies. It doesn't look like he has. IBF is he number fourteen. It's only got top ten on it. That was it. Yeah, I think Huey's ranked fourteen anyway. At IBF. Tom Schwartz number two with the WBO. <laughs> Tom Schwartz number. I mean, where did where did they get him ranked number two? I mean, he wasn't ranked number two a month before, was he? I mean, the screaming blue murder about Dillian White not having a WBC title shot, but Rivas is only ranked tenth. That's crazy. He's going to put that as a final eliminator. You you know, you got White at one, Tyson at two, Joshua at three. Luis Ortiz at four, Kaunaki five, Parker six, Quebec in seven, I think Fulibay, Caballel ninth. Caballel ninth? I mean Caballel right, he looks no, to that's me like the he's truest, That's probably the truest reflection of the, of the actual rankings. The, the, you know, that I've actually seen you, ain't got none of these nobodies in there. Like, I mean, you look in the WBO, you've got Zhili Zhang, Tyrone Spong, Junior Fart, who are these? Tyrone Spong. <laughs> Tyrone, Tyrone Spong. Spong. <laughs> What's that? You know, I think Caballero is pretty much nailed the top ten there in the WBC. So. There's no one really that springs to mind. The champion. I, I think at the moment it's uh, we're entering an era now of fighters swerving other fighters. But if you say anything, oh, you're a hater, you're a hater. You don't want them to do good. We have to look at it from both sides, Dale. Do you know the uh, the ranking situation and who's fighting who? And I don't think Tyson Fury is doing his same justice fighting Tom the Power Swartz. Do you? Fucking Tom Swartz. It's a shocking fight. I mean, they were going to get him for Dave Allen last year. I like to say, Joe Joyce has got as many wins over heavyweight world champions as Tyson. Joe yeah. Joyce is fighting a better Why opponent. Why was he beat like Joe Joyce? Oh, he's beat Stever, and he beat him, and he's beat. Who was the other guy he's beat? He's beat a few on him. If he beats Jennings and Stever, he's his he's next fight is a more competitive fight than Schwartz. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right there, mate, yeah. You're probably right. You is 15, you is 14 with IBF, with IBF, so... If they can get Yui... Am I on here? Yeah, if they can get Yui in the, uh, If they can get Yui in with Wilder, I think that's a good fight because Wilder's not technically the best fighter in the world. But if he hits you, you're going to sleep. But can he hit you? You've got Tyson, he's a defensive specialist, isn't he? His style is what Peter Fury gave him, the style, to protect that chin. Because when you're getting knocked down by people that are not massive punchers, and you're going to fight your Wilders and your Joshuas, you're going to need a good style. Now, I think he's more defensive than ever. And I think now that he's had some fists and been on floor, I think he'll be he'll, he'll be even worse. Mm. I mean, his style's awful, isn't it? He's, he, he sells himself outside of the ring, but he doesn't deliver in the ring for me, Tyson. He does all the singing after the fight, and I, he sounds like I'm a hater, but I'm not. But I just want to keep my feet on ground and go with what I see. And I'm seeing a man selling himself, but getting in the ring and... I mean, how have they pulled it off? With his feather dusters on. I mean, what sort of an era have we got where a man comes back, he fights two dossers, and the third and, and the third guy he fights, he has a draw, and then he's elevated to number one in the ring magazine. What what does that make the ring magazine? But who's controlling that? If it were an Al Heyman fighter, would he be at the top? Because Ring Magazine, if, if Rosca De La Hoya had Wilder, who would have the ring belt now? Wilder. Wilder would have it, because Oscar De La Hoya, he bought Ring Magazine for $2 million, didn't he? I think, interesting point, trying to look forward through the heavyweight division for the rest of the year. It looks like the Joshua Ruiz fight's going to happen. I can see the belts getting splintered again. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that now. 
I can There's see already rumours that the WBO are pushing uh, are pushing to get the belt off Ruiz already. Yeah. I you know Warren's probably pulling, pulling his strings behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, there's mandatory queuing up again now, isn't there? Yeah. Who's six WBO mandatory, even though he hasn't even had a fight at heavyweight yet? Pulev's sitting on his IBF. Is spot. he? Is who's saying the WBO number one? He's the mandatory, isn't he? For WBO, yeah, WBO, yeah. WBO, yeah. The WBO will probably pop one in sometime soon as well. So if Ruiz beats Joshua. He's got to fight Usek anyway. Or Pulev. Usek will take Ruiz apart, won't he? Because no doubt the He's about the same size as him. Yeah. He'll yeah, take I mean, him apart. I, I can see it coming now. I think, you know, say Ruiz does with the rematch, the WBO, the RBF call the mandatories. One of them belts he's going to he's gonna get to so off Eddie's Ruiz. Be, Eddie's, Ed, Eddie's, He'll target the vacant belt, yeah. even, even if it's for Dillian White. Eddie's not out of the picture yet because he's got Usek and Dillian White. Move as his back plan B and C, ain't he? Yeah. So he's not out of the game of Femi's coming back, and there's a good little band of fights there, isn't there? Really? Well, um, is Pulev with Bob Aaron? Mm. They could have a tournament. So, they? so there's roots there, possibility. You know, you, you, you say you say Ruiz wins the rematch, yeah. Bob Aaron will court will want that IBF belt so he can get Tyson and Pulev fighting for it, yeah. or and Eddie will want that WBO belt so he can get Usyk and White fighting for it. So. They're going to call probably, they'll probably push the governing bodies to call both mandatories and one of them's going to have to go. Yeah, you're probably right, so... Unless they've met the Wilder fight and do this unification takes priority, but you never know, do you? It's, uh, it's, so, it's all going to be messy again, it's isn't gonna, it? It's going to be a mess. Why didn't Joshua just take the Wilder offer and fight him and we could have one guy even if it were just for one fight, they could have fragmented all the belts, but then we would have had a guy who is the man. They, well, they, they used the uh, the WBA situation as a bit of a shield, didn't they? They, they, they were saying, Povetkin, we have to vote him no matter, we have to vote him no matter what. But we all know that Eddie's got Mendoza in his back pocket. There's been pictures all over Twitter of him, you know, on first class inversion trains together eating sandwiches. Yeah. They're, they're in, he's in his back pocket, just like yeah. uh, Paco at WBO, he's in Warren's back pocket. Yeah, that's in your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you know, they, they could have made the fight. I see they, what you mean. They, they could have made the fight at any point last year. They chose to swerve the fight. Yeah, it's not It's not looking, uh, it's not looking good, is that? it? The blind and Kraken. Yeah. I mean, there's loads of rumours today on here that Robert McCracken's in, in the soup. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that could be possible? Uh, it's possible, but I don't think. I don't think he's going to get anywhere. I don't think so, no. But if he got beat again, right, would people be saying, you know, but yeah, blah de blah, blah, you know, you've, you should have got rid of him? Will Joshua bring a technical advisor on board to help him with his defence? I think he's been elevated in such a way now that it pretty much is all or nothing. I think if he gets beat and stopped again, I think it's all over. Yeah, I do. How can you expect a guy who's been put up on a pedestal that high to drop back down the levels, go back, you know, go fight, fight eliminators and stuff? I just can't see. The only thing that will keep him rolling is obviously we all know the Sky pay-per-view contract was five fights. He's had Povetkin, he's had Ruiz, Ruiz two, so he'll still have two fights left after that. Yeah, yeah. He's in a mess, isn't he? If he beats Ruiz in the rematch, right? If he beats Ruiz, the problem that Sky do is the dude, the dude jumped the gun, didn't they? They did it with Khan, didn't they? They yeah. threw him in there on a five-fight box office deal, and he got iced within 50 seconds, didn't he, by Prescott? Yeah. And then they were stuck with him for another four. Was it was it five or three? I think it so was many three, fights, right? and he they fought. Had to he fought put, uh, they put some shit on there, didn't they? On on the uh, then it was a uh, Shane Fagan. Absolute nobody who we had to fight on paper. Oh, then it was Barrera, weren't yeah, he? Yeah. Then, you know, I think it was it Catalan and Manlaji. They had to yeah. put the string of fights on box office, didn't they then? Because they were yeah. committed to it on a contract. And this is the first time it's been done a multiple box office contract fight deal since that. And the history's repeated itself. He's been blasted out mm. in his second fight. They didn't foresee this. I think when they would have put that contract in front of Joshua, they would have had a projected route for five fights, and it probably would have been Wilder at fight number five. Mm. It's, uh, 
It's a mess, isn't it? It's a mess. They probably would have thought at the time, Povetkin fight one, at the time they probably would have thought white for fight two. Fight three, they would have knocked off Pulev because he was the IBF mandatory, weren't they? Mm. Then fight four, they probably would have got rid of another mandatory or something like that. Then it would have been Wilder, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would have been the five fights. Yeah, it's... Uh... You see, it's a funny one, this, because I think that... I think that Eddie is now is going to turn his attention to Usyk and Dillian White if Joshua gets beat in rematch. Because will Joshua want to, like you just said, will he want to fight fights for no belts and that? And what would his point back in, be? Back in the O2 He's arena. been built up. Back in the O2 arena, because he's not going to sell it at Wembley after two defeats, is he? No. He's been built up to such an extent that how could his ego take it? And what about all these sponsors? Are they all going to fall by at wayside? Hopefully still up there. Could Femi end up on Skid Row? He could end up serving crack up again in Watford, couldn't he? Or I think he's all weed or there, whatever he was serving. Having said all that, I do think he'll win the rematch. I do. I think he'll come back stronger in rematch. Yeah. But then again, you don't know, do you? I mean, will that guy do a, a Buster Douglas and just come in overweight and just not care about it can, now that they've hit the big time? Yeah. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Because it's, it's, well, I think he'll be even 30% he'll be on in the rematch. He'll, he'll be on how much? 30%. It's 70-30, isn't it? A split, 70-30 split, is it, for Joshua? Yeah, Joshua will be on 70. Yeah, 70%. Ruiz will be on 30%. This is why they're probably going to do more, more, it's going to do better numbers, isn't it, the rematch? What he should bother about is what he's getting rather than what Joshua's getting. Do you know what I mean? I mean, if Ruiz beats him in the rematch, he holds all the cards then forever, doesn't he? He, that, he could have his number, you know, Dale. He could have his number. It could, it could be, but I just... I think that he, if you watch the fight back, I've watched it multiple times now, Joshua puts him down with a great uppercut left hook on the inside. And he's a good inside fighter, Joshua. I, I personally think so, anyway. I think when he was in there with Vladimir and Povetkin, when he gets up close, he's actually quite a good, decent fighter. He throws some really nice little shots on the inside. I think once you put him down, he threw the right hook and then he and then he stepped in and he, instead of stepping off and boxing his way to find pick the shots and put him away, he tried to step on him. As he did he got caught with a shot, a left hook to the temple. And that shot just that was the, that was the finisher. That was yeah. the finisher. He never recovered from that shot. Yeah. So it was only really one shot which set a trial of events off. Yeah, yeah, the top of, yeah, basically, yeah. And I think he'll box a lot smarter in the rematch and probably won't go in for the kill. They probably will box for points. Try you? and keep him at arm's length yeah, and I just try so. and do a Parker job. They'll spend six months on that. They'll get the right referees in. It'll be, you know what I mean? Mm. <clears throat> what if Ruiz is now going to slip a rematch in, whereas if he loses, he gets a trilogy? <laughs> Where does that leave everybody else? Where does that leave Usyk? Where does it leave Dillian White? Because he doesn't look to me like he's uh, wanting to get in with Wilder, does he? Or is, we, or is Dillian White just happy to pick up pay-per-views, not taking risks? I think it's getting to that stage now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... He could he could force his own hand. He's, he, they always go on about how Dillian White's not tied into a promotional contract. If he was really that bothered about kicking up a stink, about mm. getting a world title fight, yeah. well, you're free to move to a promoter to make it easier for yourself. Yeah. You want you want this world title fight so bad, you're probably in the worst possible position. Why would... Yeah, 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 you're right, yeah, you're right there. Then. Why would he, though, leave Eddie Hearn and get in pay per -fuse? He's fighting pay-per-views against C-class guys, but getting pay-per-view money. Why does he want to give that up to go to Frank Warren? Because he, if he goes to Frank Warren, it can only be, well, I want the Wilder fight. And if and Frank Warren's going to think, well, why do I want to put you in with Wilder when I can do what Eddie's doing with you? Put you in with C-class and charge pay-per-view. Because he's got a fight. He does numbers, doesn't he? Now, Dillian, doesn't he? I think so, I think the Parker fight was about 500,000 bucks. See that's good, well that's 10 million isn't it, if that's 10 million, if he's getting a third of that, he's had 3 million for the Parker fight hasn't he? So, if he's getting 3 million quid a fight, 
Why does he want to go somewhere else? Because they're not going to beat that, are they? I think this is what we're saying, you know. At the end of the day, I don't think he, they, they're throwing this world total card out there just to keep the interest around the guy. Realistically, I don't think he's all too bothered. Realistically, Dillian White's confused. not gone by British level, has he? He's won, he beat Ian Lewinson in a British title fight. And what's the other belt he's won after that? I don't count them WBC Silver. Silvers and internationals. Yeah. He's not fought for a European title, so why don't he go for Caballel? He could get that as a pay-per-view. Because if he fights for the European title, it puts out that perspective then to everybody else that he's not at this world level, which is what they're trying yeah, to do. Yeah, but push. why don't he hoover up a Commonwealth and a European while he's at it? Why don't he fight Joe Joyce? That's a pay-per-view. We'd pay to see that, wouldn't we? I think, again, he's just showing that backwards step, isn't it, to the mm. casual market which they're targeting. Yeah. Like Dillian White deserves a world title Yeah, he probably does. He probably does. Hey, the, you know, look at Brazil. He got a world title shot off the back of beating Eric Molina. So yeah, yeah Dillian White does deserve a world title shot. But if he was that bothered about wanting this world title shot, he could do more. Yeah. Move promoters. Yeah, you're probably right. But though, he's happy yeah. to sit on these pay-per-views. Yeah. And Sky need him as well because who else have they got for pay-per-views? Nobody, have they? What they're going to do? They're, good, they're, they're really pushing the Callum Smith agenda, aren't they? Canelo at Anfield, mm. Golovkin at Anfield. Yeah, Golovkin at Anfield. Never going to happen, he's not going to fight either of them. You see, that's another thing as well, right? Uh, what a waste What a waste of a year for that for that kid. For Callum Smith. Just such a talent. What are the, What is the... Uh, what is the record, uh, Dale? Three minutes left. What is the record for Callum Smith? What is Callum Smith's and his brother's record in world title fights? Oh, the brothers. Three and twelve. Three wins, twelve losses. So it's... Who does he beat? Groves, fielding before he were a champion. And Dan. Uh, Groves... Injured and unda and I'm a former champion. So before plus a champion who were injured and after a guy a former champion. They're the three wins over world title guys for Callum Smith. It ain't Callum Smith's fault though, is it? But do you think that Callum Smith waited and waited and waited till it got a bit easier for him? You know, when he were WBC number one for them few year. Mm. He pulled out the uh, Durrell fight, didn't he? Yeah, well? yeah. Do you, think, do you think that Callum Smith thought, I'm going to wait, I'm going to play the waiting game? And you like a bit like Tyson Fury, the waiting away, and Billy Joe, because Billy Joe has talked a good game about Canelo. They turned out the DeGale fight as well, didn't they? Yeah. Um, that was supposed to be, was that June last year or something like that? They wanted to put that on a pipe with you and uh, Smith turned that one down as well, didn't he? How old is Golovkin, Dale? He's 37. 37, right. Do you think that Billy Joe Saunders for the last four years been calling out Golovkin and Canelo? And do you think he really wants them fights or is he waiting for Golovkin to get old or Canelo to offer him mega money? He don't want that fight. Do you think he wants them fights? No. No. So, where does Billy Joe go now? Does he fight Callum Smith? Uh, he'll probably fight WBO mandatories, wouldn't he? Is that an hard fight for Billy Joe, Callum Smith? It's a fight he wouldn't win. Yeah. I don't think he'd win. I think Callum Smith's too big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too yeah. big. Callum me. Smith's like a cruiserweight, isn't he? Boiled down, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Do you think, so you think Callum Smith beats Billy Joe? Or do I, you want I, Callum to beat Billy Joe? Personally, I think if the rematch tomorrow, I'd... <laughs> rematch? Uh, you mean if they match? I'm going on to someone else. I think if the rematch tomorrow, I oh, would back you back to beat Billy Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably get a little bit of stick You're for back that. Oh, I would, I would, a, a super middle or middle? A super middle, I would back you back to beat Billy Joe. Mm. No. I thought Billy Joe looked really sluggish in his last fight. Really yeah. Sluggish. Do you think, that, do you think, Dale, that... Uh, do you think that Billy Joe uh, beats De Gale if he comes back? Yeah, De Gale's shot to pieces, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think Billy Joe? F do, you, do you think? Do you think that Billy Joe uh, would beat Groves if he came back at uh, super middle? Yeah. Or is that an hard fight? For no, you? I think Billy Joe would win that fight as well. Does Billy Joe beat Canelo? No. No, he don't beat Canelo. I think he gets wiped out. Right. 
Okay. Well, let's change back to it. What was that, Kevin? Was it? 